you know, being a hip hop fan and being someone who has been a part of the hip hop culture since they were born and, you know, being able to work with a lot of rappers that you see in today's time of hip hop, I like to give a fair and unbiased perception and opinion about a lot of the things that we see going on in hip hop. Because in today's time, you got a lot of people who like to throw everything that we have going on in America on the culture of hip hop. You got people who think that, you know, if hip hop is not political or conscious, that it's not quote unquote real hip hop. Or you got people who will talk about uh, the gangster rap or, you know, rappers calling women bitches and hoes or how they're going to kill somebody. But yet they'll turn around and threaten somebody in their life. You know, the minute they get mad or I'm going to kill that motherfucker or, uh, you know, fuck that bitch, et cetera, et cetera. Even the people who, you know, might somewhat deserve being called those um, those uh, misogynistic words or offensive words. They still use them in their personal life, but they'll turn around and critique rappers for saying it. And I find that to be funny with a lot of people who critique hip-hop, like a Don Lemon or, uh, you know, uh, people like Nancy Grace and et cetera, et cetera. You guys know the, the usual suspects out here. But, you know, I say that because I like to give a very fair perception of hip-hop. I don't point out the negative and don't point out the positive. I don't point out the positive but don't point out the negative. And I ran across an article of uh, the rapper 2 Chainz. And I did a video on uh, him and uh, Nancy Grace in the interview that they had where Nancy Grace was just totally attacking 2 Chainz. You know, she brought up the fact that, uh, you know, he, he, he smokes weed. And, I mean, just really attacking his brother and probably can't name, you know, one song that he made. And, you know, it's one of my biggest videos, but, you know, I ran across this article of 2 Chainz giving back to the community and doing something positive. And I'm going to go ahead and read you guys this article. It says the Atlanta-based rapper has agreed to pay one year's rent for Dira Dre Plater, I believe that's how you pronounce her name, a military veteran and single mother of Plamato GA. She recently had surgery and has been looking for a job almost a year. Two Chains and his children showed up and also gave the Platter family new furniture. It's hard to keep gas in the car, food in the house, and do everything by myself being a single parent, Platter told local news CBS. I'm on a fixed income. I love to see stuff like this happen for our people, but I never thought it would happen to me. Two Chains will continue to give from sales proceeds from his ugly Christmas sweater through the holiday season. I guess that's some type of sweater this brother is selling or whatever. I've never heard of it, but <laughs> it's quite a title. But, uh, you know, there you have it. You know, you know 2 chains came out here, gave back, gave back to a single parent. Because like I said, you know, a, a lot of us, we grew up in single parent households. You know, a lot of us, you know, um, you know, had, had, had to come from the bottom. We didn't have, you know, a lot of the necessary things that you know, some kids have, and, you know, me being someone who grew up in that environment, I understand, you know, I know what it's like to, um, you know, see your, your, your mother or your father do it all by themselves as a single parent, so I understand it, and, you know, I have to show respect and really honor 2 chains for coming out and doing this for someone, and see, this is the stuff you don't hear people talk about you got people out here that you know want to critique hip-hop and critique the rappers for what they say and do and they don't talk about this now i wonder will nancy grace come out and do a segment on two chains giving back or what nelly does for the community or how snoop dogg recently for thanksgiving went to inglewood and gave our turkeys I wonder will Nancy Grace and these other characters out here being it on YouTube, being it through the media, or you know, one of these these characters on CNN, I wonder will they come out and talk about this and what rappers actually give back to the community and their efforts. Nah, they're not gonna do that. 